This is the numerical related to the inclined benzimeter. First of all, read the question and write the given. What is given in the question? Find the discharge of water flowing through a pipe of 30 cm diameter placed in an inclined position where a benzimeter is inserted having throat diameter of 15 cm. Throat diameter of benzimeter is 15 cm and diameter of pipe given. The difference of pressure between the main and throat is measured by liquid of exclusive gravity 0.6. Lighter liquid is used in the manometer. An inverted U tube manometer which gives reading of 30 cm. The difference of reading of this lighter liquid is 30 cm. The loss of head between the main and throat is 0.2 times the kinetic head. The diameter of pipe means diameter of inlet. Inlet diameter. That this is D1 equal to 30 cm. Means 0.3 meter. Diameter of the throat. Throat diameter, throat diameter VD2, this is equal to 15 cm. This is 0.15 meter. The difference of pressure between the main and throat. Pressure difference is measured I, with a specific gravity of liquid 0.6. Specific gravity of lighter liquid SL is 0.6. Difference of reading in inverted U to manometer. That this is x equal to 30 cm, 0 0.3 meter. And kinetic head is given, head loss is given. HL equal to 0 0.2 into kinetic head of the pipe. Pipe, let the velocity of flow in pipe is V1, that is inlet is V1 and throat is V2. That is kinetic head means of pipe means V1 square upon 2G. These are given in the question. So we have to find discharge. Q equal to what? So we have here diameter is given so we find here area area is required to find the discharge so a1 equal to pi upon 4 into this 0 0.3 square Zero point zero seven zero six eight five meter square we can find a2 pi upon 4 into 0 0.15 g square this is 0 0.01767 meter square first of all make a benzimeter here inclined benzimeter fitted with inverted u tube Just make a rough figure to understand. This is throat section. This is inlet section. Water is flowing in this direction. This is outlet. Uh, inclined U2 manometer is connected. Here liquid is lighter, specific having specific gravity 0 0.6. The difference of this head, this is given as 30 cm. The specific gravity of this liquid is 0 0.6. Water is flowing here. The specific gravity of water is 1. So this liquid is lighter than the water. So lighter liquid lies above the water. 
below this line there is water this is throat this is inlet let this is section 1 let this is section 2 we can apply Bernoulli's equation between section 1 and so this is the figure to understand the question applying Bernoulli's principle between inlet and throat section p1 upon rho g plus p1 square upon rho g plus z1 equal to p2 upon rho g plus p2 square upon rho g plus z2 plus headless HL. We can solve this. P1 upon rho g plus z1. This is the pressure head at inlet and this goes to your negative P2 upon rho g and when this z2 goes left side this is minus z2 when we take minus common this is pressure head at throat this equal to this bt square upon 2g minus b1 square upon 2g this hl hl is 0 0.2 b1 square upon 2g plus 0 0.2 b1 square upon 2g this is pressure head at inlet this is pressure head at throat so this is the difference of pressure head between inlet and throat let the we can write this is as h equal to v2 square upon 2g minus v1 square upon 2g plus 0 0.2 v1 square upon 2g this minus v1 square upon 2g plus 0 0.2 v1 square upon 2g we can write this as minus 0 0.8 v1 square upon 2g 0 0.8 v1 square upon 2g now we can apply the continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 we can find value of v1 a2 upon a1 into v2 this a2 this value of a2 is here 0 0.01767 upon a1 0 0.070685 into v2 here we find the relation between v1 and v2 the value of this is equal to 0 0.249 v2 or we can write 0 0.25 only here we have relation between v1 and v2 and we have this equation that is this equation 1 we can substitute this value of b1 in this equation then we can find value of this pressure difference between inlet and throat so we substitute this value of b1 here h equal to v2 square upon 2g minus 0 0.8 into b1 square in place of b1 we have 0 0.25 b2 upon 2g we can solve this this is b2 square upon 2g minus the square of 0 0.25 is 0 0.0625 into 8 this is equal to 0 0.5 not this this is 0. Point, this is equal to 0. 0.05 minus 0. 0.05 b2 square upon 2g if we solve this we get 
वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव बी टू स्क्वायर अपन टू जी वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एच फ्रॉम दिस डाटा द वैल्यू ऑफ एच इज इक्वल टू एक्स टाइम्स यस योर लाइटर लिक्विड इज मैनोमेट्रिक लिक्विड विज डिफरेंस ऑपरेटिंग इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर सो इन केस ऑफ लाइटर लिक्विड वी हैव फॉर्मूला वन माइनस यस यल ओपन यस नॉट स्पेसिव ग्रेविटी ऑफ लिक्विड फ्लोइंग थ्रू द पाइप दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्स जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन माइनस यस यल लाइटर लिक्विड हैव स्पेसिव ग्रेविटी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स ओपन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ वाटर इज इक्वल टू वन दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट वन टू मीटर वी कैन सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एच एयर जीरो पॉइंट वन टू इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव बी टू स्क्वायर अपन टू जी फॉर्म एयर वी कैन फैलो फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ बी टू बी टू इज इक्वल टू रूट अंडर जीरो पॉइंट वन टू इंटू टू इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट वन वैल्यू ऑफ जी नाइन पॉइंट एट वन अपन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव देर फॉर बी टू इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवेन फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वी कैन फाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ डिस्चार्ज क्यू इक्वल टू ए वन बी वन इक्वल टू ए टू बी टू वी हैव बी टू एंड वी हैव एरिया ए टू सो वी कैन फाइन दिस वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू ए टू इन टू बी टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सेवेन सिक्स सेवेन इन टू बी टू जीरो बी टू इज वन पॉइंट फाइव सेवेन फोर दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सॉरी दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवेन एट वन सेवेन मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इन लीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी सेवेन पॉइंट एट वन मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड एंड दिस इज द रिक्वेड वैल्यू ऑफ डिस्चार्ज थ्रू द पाइप वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू In this video we have completed the numerical on incredible sensory meter for more videos like share and subscribe our channel